Nothing seems to be broken. Oh, except this. and the structural reinforcement, I'm guessing, I'm beneath the stage. <laughs> Which is where Marie Murphy committed suicide and, and where her body was found. <laughs> this is fantastic! I can publish these findings in any journal I want! <clears throat> yeah, tra tragic, tragic turn of events. Not something to be trivialised. Readings seem to be coming from this. No. Oh. No, my mistake. This way. to the neck and throat, indicative of severe trauma to the airways. Um, thank you. Um, depths of the legions would suggest the fall was at least six feet. suggest that the body was in situ for at least several hours before being moved. Signs of a struggle and damage to the fingernails would Again, I don't know if my mic is working or if anyone is actually receiving this, but I seem to have gotten beneath the stage. I seem to find a way out. There's a door, but it was blocked from the other side. Looks like Bannon was keeping a load of records down here. Bills, letters from solicitors. Jesus. I wonder he sealed this place up. What in God's 
name of these? Double pink provisions, man. Of what, exactly? Look, I'm the time. Espionage. Car chases. Gratuitous nudity. It's appalling. It's crass. And it's tasteless. And it's god awful. Yeah, you don't really know what you're talking about, though, do you? You've destroyed this show with your arrogance. My show. Your show. Yeah, it's really funny, that, because it looks like here it says Graham Bannon. They all do. And you're welcome to it. Just, just calm down, will you? I don't want you causing any more nasty accidents. Well, God forbid you burn another part of the building down. I hope you burn in hell, Bannon. After you. Why, Holly? Why? You had a big hand in the creation of this, didn't you, Marie? And you just want your credit. I understand that. I get it, but Marie, the fire and the accident. How could you? I don't know if anyone is hearing this, but I think I'm beneath the stage. Looks like Bannon was hiding stuff down here. Explains why he sealed the door off. Carries on over here. What is that smell? What is your script, your idea, and he destroyed it. And thanks to him, history remembers you as the costume girl who ruined everything. I do move quite quietly, don't I? My limbs are particularly aerodynamic. I thought you were dead. Uh, no, 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 not, not, not dead. Um, no, Diane found me upstairs, hide a cow. Uh, I was upstairs, and she came to find me, and then I thought I'd come find you. Be careful with that. It's really important. Marie, the spirit, whatever. She wants us to see it, and I think if we play it, nobody else is going to get hurt. You're right, Holly. What? Well, you're, you're talking a lot of nonsense about spirits and, and ghosts, and don't forget it's not real. What do you mean? You saw... No, 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 I didn't. It's a TV show, remember? People press buttons, things jump out. Ah! No, bullshit. What are you saying? We need that tape and we need it's to... It's been a stressful night, right? Why don't you just go upstairs and have a little relax? Give me the tape, Patrick. Dan's called an ambulance, so should be here any minute to check you out. Give me the tape, Patrick. Why, 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 why? You knew. You knew about this place. Hmm? Which means you know what's on that tape. All right, maybe I do know what's on this tape. And maybe that's exactly why this cannot get into the wrong hands, Holly. Patrick! I knew you were an arsehole, but I didn't think... What? You didn't think what? Patrick, we need that tape or she will kill us all. Do you know how hard it is, Holly? Being a bat, Living under my father's expectations, his ambition. And then one day, this fucking curse. Marie Murphy died here, Patrick. Yeah, do you know who else died here? A little boy. A little boy whose father never came home. Really? 
He shot himself away and never looked at us again. He wanted his whiskey every night with exactly one ounce of ice, so he could sit on his own and enjoy it with the only thing he still had eyes for. TV. I'm sorry, Patrick. I am. You didn't deserve that. But neither did Marie. He, he wouldn't have done something like that, Holly. Why do you care so much when he never cared for anyone in his life? Not for you and certainly not for Marie. Because I need it. Because his reputation is its all I've got, Holly. Patrick, you were an average broadcaster. You've always been an average broadcaster. You swear at the guests, you forget your lines, you treat everyone around you as if they're shit people from the planet shit, yet you are still better than him. You're a better presenter, somehow, and you're a better man. Trust me, his name is not doing you any favors. So give me the tape, Patrick. I, I, can't, I can't, I'll risk Susan everything. What the? Ah! Sorry, Patrick. Ah! Oh, and I lied before. You're a shit person and an even shittier news broadcaster. And no amount of mustache is ever going to make him proud of you. Oh. Finally, I quit, by the way. Just because your dad was a cunt doesn't mean you have to be. Fuck you, Holly. Why are you hurting? Ah! This'll ruin me, Holly. Look at the one again. What? Don't put me on the sports desk! Don't put me on the sports desk! Uh. Hello? Ghost lady? Are you there? Am I dead? This is where she... And my dad sealed the door from outside. So I am... trapped. Fucking hell. Oh great. Well done Patrick, well done to the fine mess he got himself into. Hey Mr. Bannon. What do you like to run around like a dickhead for a few hours, pretending ghosts exist? Yeah, sounds good to me, mate, yeah? But we will be capitalising off the death of your dad. How does that sound? You're fine by me, mate. What's the page? Uh, ten grand and as many pages you can stuff in your mouth. Sound good? Yeah, mate. And the croissants are cold. them all, don't you? You're a liar. Bannon the phony returns to Vaudeville and shame. Where is it, Graham? Guilty Graham loses it all. You'll destroy everything! I don't care! Where is it, Marie?
Christ on a bike? That was a ride. Oh, this must be the vault below the stage. Greetings, my friends. If you're still with us, you join me here in the very room where Marie Murphy took her own life and sealed the fate in these here walls. Welcome to the finale of tonight's live and spooky. Ah, this wasn't exactly as I expected to get here, but it's not unheard of for an entity to bring only those with the gift of clairvoyance to them. But of course, only I, Wayne the Spirit Whistle, will be able to communicate with them either in this world or their own. Marie? It is you, isn't it, Marie? Don't fear me, okay, love? I may be powerful, but I'm also kind. Speak through me, Marie, so I can put you to rest. Come on, we're up against the clock. Let's not upset the advertisers. Uh, so uh, that's all we have time for. <laughs> was actually some spirit shit there. Okay. <laughs> so, Graham Bannon was there, but he didn't stop it. Holy shite. Is gold. You struck gold, Wayne. Oh, okay, Marie. I hear you. I understand you. Don't you worry. I'll make sure this film is put to good use. Extremely good use. So, I'll leave you to it then, okay, love? No, I'm done. Just let me out and we'll fix it, yeah? No? No. No. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it was just a bit of a laugh. Just entertainment. I didn't mean any harm, honestly. I really didn't. Hey, look, take it. Take it. It's yours. I don't want it. 